episode of Holly Jolly Calamus. Yay! <laughs> worth of videos for you in the run up to Christmas so there's going to be a video, well actually there's going to be two videos two every videos. week so every Thursday there's going to be a holly jolly collabness for you on each of our channels yep. it's going to be so good every Thursday at 4.30pm somewhere around that time something like that we'll keep it loose so today to start everything off we have another episode of Let's Bake and we did this so long ago I think it was, you think it was yeah. April I think it was April way way back last yeah. year Way, way, way back, back this year. year, like um, earlier this year. And we thought we would do something, Not, it's not particularly Christmassy, but it's something you're going to want to eat. It's At Christmas. It's good. We saw this, or you saw this in Costa, and we like to kind of have a look around the coffee shops because they do such good Christmassy desserts and just desserts yeah. in general, and Susie saw salted um, caramel brownie. Yeah. So that is what we're going to recreate for you today, and it's just going to be so good. So I hope you enjoy watching this video, and if you're going to make it, please tweet us your pictures, and the hashtag for this whole thing this month is going to be Holly Jolly Calamus, which is just <laughs> a mouthful. <laughs> best hashtag ever. Okay, so we're going to get into the baking, and we have all of our ingredients right here. We have made the caramel already, because... Takes a while. Takes a while. It needs to go in the freezer for a little bit or in the fridge if you don't have the freezer to hand. So you're going to need half a cup of granulated sugar, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, and three tablespoons of heavy cream. And now this part gets a little bit tricky because you need to heat things up, get it in a saucepan, and you want to start by putting the granulated sugar into the pan with no oil, nothing on the pan, so it's just dry and kind of let it melt. And this takes a little while, you have to be a bit patient. Very patient. Very patient, but just kind of give it a few little stirs. Make sure you're using a wooden spoon as well, I think that's the trick. So stir it with a wooden spoon and let it all melt down and then take it off the heat and add in your butter and your cream and then sprinkle your salt over the top of that little caramelly mixture. Just stir everything together yeah, and it bubble up and look insane and terrifying. Beautiful caramel. Yes. yes. If you are under 16 or just incredibly incompetent when cooking, always have adult supervision because we did nearly burn ourselves. Yeah, it gets very hot, so be careful. <laughs> yep. So you just need to pour that into a pan or any kind of little dish that is heat proof, stick it in the freezer and leave it for about 20 or 30 minutes, depending on how cold your freezer gets. So while it's in the freezer, you can go ahead and make your brownie mixture, and this is actually a really good brownie mixture. I gave it a go last night and it tastes like the real thing. So you're going to need 85 grams of dark chocolate and 115 grams of unsalted butter. <laughs> I'm the magician's assistant over here. 200 grams of granulated sugar. I'm just going to dip my face in it. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're going to need two eggs. And then you're going to need a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. This is my favourite sea salt ever. Is it weird to have a favourite kind of salt? Mm, a little bit. And then you're going to need two thirds of a cup of plain flour. And this is really a really Christmas cup. <laughs> We've gone all out today. Yeah. So we have a KitchenAid for this, which definitely makes life a lot easier. And it's just beautiful. I love it. <laughs> um, so we're literally going to chuck everything in. So this Let's Bake is going to be a lot easier than the last one where I had to take over with a fork. Put a fork in it. Put a fork in it. You remember? I remember. <laughs> so yeah, this one it needs much less arm work, but you know, forks always work. So you want to start with melting together the chocolate and butter, and this works really well if you have a pan of boiling water and then a heat proof dish on the top. I have neither of those things because I have literally just moved into this house a few days ago. Lots um, of things are left in the old house. She's not just like in that. I'm not just baking without equipment. furniture and <laughs> baking equipment. So what I found works really well is just to use a little heat proof dish and literally put your chocolate and put your butter in there and just pop this into the oven that's preheating, leave it in for a few minutes and it just does the work for you and melts it all down. I'm just getting a smack me in the face with that. So I'm going to put this in the oven. Go on. <laughs> This is messy. Feels like it's gonna be messy. So good. And then you wait for the bowl to cool, and you then get a spoon and scrape that all out, and that's your treat. So then you just wanna chuck everything except the flour into the bowl. So just pour everything in all together. <laughs> then comes the fun part, and you just wanna crank your kitchen lid up. I usually put it on a slow speed to begin with, and then just keep going up and up. This is magical, I don't own one of these. Mm, very loud! 
And then finally, you just add your flour and do the same again. I'm taking over the KitchenAid. <laughs> this, could be, this is awful. Alex's kitchen is so white and pristine right now, and I feel like I'm just making us. I don't think you can go too wrong. I wouldn't be that worried. Crank it all the way out. And then you're just going to be left with chocolatey, yummy, amazing smelling goodness. I just want to put my face in this. You can, thank you. Oh, thanks. Right. So this is the point where you take your caramel out of the freezer, and now we're just going to cut it up into little squares. I don't know why I'm the one being trusted with the sharp knife. This is terrifying. Use adult supervision wherever possible. Alex is taking over because this is a really bad angle for me. I just have this premonition of Alex slicing her hand over and I'm not going to know what to do. <laughs> so you want to pour your brine mixture into a little greased tin. We have this one here. I'm debating whether or not I actually want to put it in the oven. <laughs> Should we just eat yeah, it? Yeah, the bin here. Let's just eat this. <laughs> I'll just be over here with the spoon. Have a bowl. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and then just stick your caramel pieces in. You can bury it, you can leave them on top, you can put them pretty much where any you want. I'm gonna let you deal with the presentation of it. Who decided that salt and caramel would go together? Some genius. Where are you? I want to <laughs> we, love you. <laughs> we love you. We love you. So we popped our brownies in the oven for 25 minutes and whilst we're waiting for those to bake, you can do a few things, one of which is clean the kitchen, which we should probably do, but we probably won't. Um, but you can also prepare your decorations for the top of your brownies. And we've done this just because we kind of wanted to make this feel that little bit more festive. So we've got some edible glitter, which I am so excited about, and then some star and sprinkly sprinkles. So we love those, and those are out and ready for when our brownies are done. So just take the brownies out of the oven, they look and smell delicious. Should we do a taste test? Yeah. It's turned into more of a brownie bowl than a brownie just because these are so warm right now. So I think you're gonna have to leave them in for a little bit just to set and harden up slightly. But I have a fork full of brownie. Oh, the salted caramel is like dripping out. Of is it? Mm. So good. Ready? One. Um, two. <laughs> three. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my god. I can't believe you just created that. I think I just need to be alone mm. with this. Okay. <laughs> the soldier's caramel chunks just make it there, mm. really melted and gooey, and it just tastes so good. High five. Well done. <coughs> so that is our salted caramel brownie recipe. I think it's probably the best thing I've ever made myself. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty impressed with those. I completely mm -hmm. agree with They're you. Good. So if you are going to bake them, we would love it if you could tweet or Instagram us a picture and you can use the hashtag hollyjollycollabness so that we can see them and we will be keeping an eye on that hashtag as well. Uh, definitely give them a go. I would highly recommend it. It takes a bit of patience with the salted mm -hmm. caramel, but these so are insane. Mm -hmm. So make sure you head over to Caesar's channel out where we have filmed a challenge video. <laughs> it's something to do with gingerbread houses, icing, and it's gonna be great. So go I'm watch so it excited. out. And let's say if you're looking forward to watching Holly Jolly Cladmus. We're excited, I hope you're excited, and we will see you again next week. Bye! Bye. This is burning my hand! <laughs> Hey. What does that say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be so bad throughout. I was not paying attention to that. I was like, oh. <laughs> did I go in the Not my detail. No. I've got caramel in my mouth, but I can't talk. I'll take this one. <laughs> the... <laughs> you just poked me in the eye. Special <laughs> You ever did have.